Now, this is the original photograph of a farm in Freethcote. This is how we use the cucumber in, in NFT. Excellent crop, excellent growth. Everybody was surprised. But after one month of fruiting, huge fruiting, we sold a lot of fruits. One day the disease stuck and within two days, the entire crop we could not save. Rather, I paid 10,000 rupees for a visiting professor also, send a taxi to him. He brought the taxi and he says, okay, no, Kigra, we can't do anything now. Because how to stop it? Because I have no idea. It was an all one circulating system. Yes, mistake on our part. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this, this is four inch, four inch. but not required. I'll show you better things. Are These are the media. This is the leka, light earth clay aggregate, which is nothing but small balls of clay burnt. If you see it on Amazon, they give you 80 rupees a kilo, 100 rupees a kilo. But there is a address in Ahmedabad. They manufacture it. I will share all these addresses with you. Give him a ring, 21 rupees or 31 rupees kg. He will send it to you plus the transportation cost. Any amount in 50 liter bag or a 100 liter bag. This is coco peat. Very important. Coco peat from southern states. People understand. It's of two types. One is high EC, one is low EC. So we need low EC. But you, there is no harm in getting high EC also. If you get high EC, then you will have to buffer it. You will have to wash it and then buffer it with calcium nitrate. So that because there are potassium salts and there are sodium salts in coco peat. They do not let calcium. Once you put calcium nitrate, they will take calcium and release the other two salts. So there will be bonding of calcium. So you will have to give more calcium to the crop. But if you have buffered it, then you don't need to give more calcium. Buffering is very easy. We have made a special place for buffering cocoa peat. I'll show it to you. That is also my design. We have designed it so that farmer doesn't exercise because first time we did it, it was lots and lots of labor. Then I, based on that, I designed something which is no labor at all. So we'll show you that also. This is normal grit size you can take round also you can take this also this is perlite this is vermiculite coco peat comes in the form of bricks like this which have a expanding of i think uh, 5 liter into 75 15 times it expands when it is properly pressed with a lot of lesser moisture then it expands 15 times 5 liter of coco peat will expand into 5 kilogram of coco peat will expand into 75 liter of coco peat and this is sufficient for four bags, we have done a lot of studies. Now suppose how to estimate the how much cocoa peat you require. One brick of cocoa peat is sufficient for four bags of 24 into 24 into 40. So suppose you have 2000 bags, you can always find out how many bricks I need, how much cocoa peat I need. Because storing of cocoa peat is also a problem. This is inert sand, which you can coarse sand available on some of the yeah. beaches available in some of the underground like Padarpur and all that and some of the rivers also you find sand and this is your peat moss the sphagnum which has a high acidity very useful for blueberry cultivation beyond this there is no substrate which is used one we have not shown that is the rice husk people are using mixed with cocoa peat or mixed with the peat this is a bucket which will contain water up to this level once the water goes up beyond this level, this siphon works and the water drains out. That's it. This is up to this level, it will remain water. Okay. If the water goes up to this, this siphon will work and the water will drain out. So for that, you need media which does not absorb water like the leka or the perlite. If you use cocoa peat, then the water, free water will not be available for drainage. For any siphon to work, you need free water. And if there is no free water available, then you don't need it. But I have designed another, you know, this can be used. You fill this up to this level with grit okay. so that this siphon gets the free water and then put cocoa peat. If there is a free water, it will go down into the grit and the siphon will work. But at the same time, the cost of this Dutch market is 160 rupees, which is too much compared to a grow bag. A grow bag costs about 20 rupees. My whole endeavor in this training is cutting the cost of your hydroponic farm. That is the important. If you can cut the cost, then it will be economical. If you want to make it in India, it will be like this. Tell me, what is it worth 160 rupees? Now, it will be worth 20 rupees, 40 rupees. 120 rupees is worth trading. How much trading is worth? You have no idea. It's 10-10 rupees. 
اس کے پرائز کر کے کماتے ہیں مائی سن از ورکنگ وتھ بی ایم ڈبلیو ان دا مارکیٹنگ آف بی ایم ڈبلیو ہی سیز دا کار وچ از سیلنگ ایٹ سکسٹی فائیو لیک ان جرمنی کاسٹ سکسٹین لیک آن سکس بی ایم ڈبلیو ایکس ون ایس یو وی از جسٹ سکسٹین لیک ان جرمنی تو اٹ از اے ٹریڈر وچ از میکنگ منی نہ ہی تو دا مینوفیکچرر از میکنگ منی نور دا کنزیومر از میکنگ منی سو دیٹس وائی دیز ڈچ ورکٹس آئی ڈونٹ ایور پروپیگیٹ دی ڈچ ورکٹس